This is more on how you can see this thing. And if you look straight west, a little south or west southwest, a little to the left of due west, you have Venus. If you can, Venus usually stands out very soon, very early, even when we're not out of the astronomical twilight period. So even around seven, sometimes you can see it's called the evening star, but it's not really a star, it's a planet. If you look to the right of Venus, you'll see the trajectory of the comet and it will be a little higher in the sky each night. The problem is it's getting further away from the Earth. So that's going to have an impact on your ability to be able to see it because it's going to get fainter and fainter as you go through the week. Um, and then we have to look at the clouds too. But basically if you look to the west and you're not looking towards city lights, that's another thing that will really hamper your ability to see this thing. If you can get out in Westmobile or down around Dolphin Island, kind of get towards the west end or, or get somewhere where you have a, a good field of view, no trees in the, and be able to look west out across a field, um, I was able to go out off of uh, Old Pascagoula Road last night and had an opportunity to see the very tail end of it myself as well as in Midtown. So there are some chances to see it, but you, you've got to get away from the city lights because light pollution can cost you. And uh, looking at it, we've got some clouds overhead right now that may have an impact. We'll see if they're still around. I'm going to be watching this very closely. We are seeing the clearing line back to around Hattiesburg, Mississippi. But this is a long loop and we still may see some clouds so that could mess things up tonight. The far inland areas, Washington County, Greene County, a little better chance of seeing some clearing that could help. And as we switch over and look at the future cast, you can see that at five o'clock, we've still got clouds in the picture. The front's going to try and come through and dry us out, but we still may see some cloud cover. Now, the key is that it's clear to the west, and this is at 730. It's still showing clouds over Mobile, but if you're up in Leakesville or Loosedale, you may be okay. And uh, if those clouds are overhead in Mobile, but it's clear enough to the west, we still may get a glimpse of that comet. I think the panhandle, this is just not your night. Tomorrow night might be the better night. The other issue is the moon. The moon phase is building towards full. It's a waxing gibbous at about 96%. And moon rise is going to be happening tonight at around... It says uh, 5.18 p.m. So you're going to start to get the, it's going to get brighter and brighter from the moon. And that will be a negative thing. But I think tomorrow night the moon will still be a little lower in the sky. And we'll have clear skies. So that may be our best bet. But if you want to see the comet, you need to look to the west. Your best bet's going to be between 7.30 and 7.45. I've got to stop this. I tried to do a stream earlier and we had some audio problems. And I got to get ready for Fox 10 News at 3 p.m. So I'm going to be on the air in about 10 minutes. And we'll talk more about this. It may not be the perfect night for it because of cloud cover. But tomorrow night, again, between 7.30 and about 8 o'clock in the western sky, not very high up over the horizon, may have an opportunity to see this comment because it, it is a big one and it's very unusual. So this is our chance uh, to see something neat in the skies. We'll have more on this on Fox 10 News. We'll also talk about a crazy cold front that's coming in and lows tonight right around 50 with some 40s in the inland spots but we'll see 40s and even 30s in the inland spots tomorrow night so get the jackets ready to go i'll get you prepared on fox 10 news